All right, do you want your Power BI reports to look great? Make them easy for people to navigate, easy for you to expand, build more items, you know, create more reports and yet drive consistency across all of your UI experiences with your, with your users? Well, you are in the right video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how you can do all of this with having the, or in following the best practices for, with report backgrounds. My name is Chris Wagner. This is Kratos BI, and today I'm gonna to run you through that whole, the whole story there. All right, don't forget to do the YouTube thing. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And if you want early access for as little as $5, $5, you can get early access to all this content. All right, so we're gonna be starting off. We wanna cover some basic things inside of our report. And this is just gonna like go for everything we have. All of our reports are gonna kind of follow the same pattern. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to block out how your reports are all gonna look, feel, and function, okay? So I've got a few things that we're gonna talk about here. It's making sure that we include. Number one, we wanna make sure that we have a report title. What's the title? Make sure that it's clearly visible for users. Um, uh, on that. I want to have a report title that my users are going to be using in the upper left-hand corner. Now, I know some people like to rely upon the Power BI report service. You know, you can see it there. Please be aware that people are going to embed your reports. Maybe it's not today, maybe it's not tomorrow, but someday, someday they're going to embed your reports. And if you just, if you don't have the report name on the page, you're just going to get confused by where the heck that report is, okay? So put the report name on it, all right? So that's what we start off with. Then on the top row, we wanna make sure we've got all of the relevant KPIs to tell the data story that we're talking about. This is gonna be true on virtually every page that your users are gonna be interacting with, is you wanna have those KPIs available. And you want them to be consistently in the same place. So at the top of your report, have it be the first thing that they look at is super effective and efficient. So we're gonna lay, make sure we've got good space there. Wanna make sure it's branded, that it's got a nice logo in place. So if anyone's looking at screenshots or whatever, they know that, you know, what company it is. It just, it helps with the polish look and feel. The big area that we're going to have is gonna be your report canvas. Make sure you've kind of blocked that stuff out, okay? Where that's gonna be, this is where all your report details, other than your KPIs, everything you have is gonna fit in this little area, okay? And then in the lower, lower area, this is where we're gonna have our links for help and navigation. Uh, or an information, we're gonna just put those links on every single page, right? So people can always go and get that information, get that help, uh, right? And, and uh, we'll talk more about that in just a second. But those links are always gonna be in this lower corner. Uh, in the center of that page, this is where you're gonna be including your page name, okay? So you know, you're gonna have many pages potentially in a report put your page name in a place that's easy for people to see, but doesn't necessarily have to like compound any of your spaces. I know some people do uh, the report title up here with the page name underneath it. That's fine too. I've just adopted that I like to have it in the footer space here. So I've got a consistent look and feel. And then the one thing that I want you to include, oh, and I can't get out of my own way. Can I? I cannot. Can I move this somehow? Oh, there we go. Ah, come on now, stupid monitor. <laughs> in the lower corner, have it always in the same place. Put in where your dat data was last refreshed so it's easy for people to see and understand like how relevant, how recent has this data been updated, okay? With this in mind, we're gonna go in and we're gonna do our first basic design. This is gonna be your basic background that you can like always default to and use uh, for how, how you set up your engagements, right? You're gonna uh, uh, set up your, your header space, which is gonna follow your branded colors, your logo is gonna be put in, and then you're gonna have a footer in, in the place, okay? Now, I like to have in my footer, I like it to be gray. I like to have a gray area, and then I like this little break of a bar right here. Oh, oopsies, shift control. There we go, ha ha. I learned something, Christina. Uh, I like to have a little color dash at the bottom just to help, uh, it just seems like it makes it pop, okay? 
this is going to be my first page. This is going to be my base I'm going to be working with. Okay. I'm going to design it in PowerPoint. So it's really easy to me to put shapes on this page. One note, I am going to have a white background that I'm going to be using on this page to start with. Okay. And then to save it, I'm going to select one of the images. I'm going to hold down control a to select all of the images, right click, and then save as picture. Okay, that save as picture is gonna go into my, ah, Kairos BI, Power BI bat report backgrounds, and we're gonna call this my Kratos BI base. All right, so I've got that in place. Now I'm gonna do the first breakout that I like to have, and I like to, to do my breakouts uh, uh, with a background that's slightly gray. So if you go in and you, you go up to your fills, it's that first gray here. The reason I like to keep this gray is it allows for me to establish regions inside of my report, right? It's, it's clear that there's two regions in this report surrounded by gray. I've also leveraged um, uh, the spacing to make sure I've got equal spacing on my left gutter, equal spacing on my right gutter, and equal spacing in between. This makes my report or, and, and between my header and, and footer, right? This gives me a good space for me to be able to interact with, be able to put in you know, multiple visuals in these two buckets and make it generally very accessible and easy for, for people to consume and use, okay? So I'm gonna uh, do the same thing where I did here, select A, right click, save as picture, and I'm gonna call this one uh, uh, Kratos BI, uh, this is gonna be uh, uh, too even, right? Now, the next base I, I wanna establish right away, and trust me, I've just done this many times, this is how, these are the bases that you need. You, you can go and you can create more, but these are the basic shapes I wanna have. All right, I'm gonna not show you every little step in here, but I just wanna cover these, okay? So the first one, we're gonna be following rule of thirds. We're gonna make sure we maintain even spacing, but one third of our page is gonna be uh, for one set of visuals and two thirds of our page is going to be for another set of visuals, okay? We're then gonna basically go on and do that on the mirrored side. We're going to be doing that. And then we're going to be sticking that in the center. Please note, it's not perfectly thirds. It's basic rules of thirds where you basically got your third lines in here. Um, and technically the third line is right here on the center uh, with content in the middle. This makes it really easy for me to still have hero visuals in my vision or in, in a report, even with three brackets. Uh, while giving us room for other items on that page, all right? The next thing is we'll do is we'll add in some uh, breakouts for, uh, you know, the horizontal breakouts, we'll do that. And we can continue to, to iterate and do more of these breakouts too. And we'll call the last thing we make sure that we include, and this is kind of a big one, <clears throat> is making sure that we've got a report information page that's set up and ready for, for my users. I want my report information page to be consistent and reliable uh, between all of my uh, pages. Um, uh, and I want it to cover these, these different categories. First off, I'm gonna have an overview, okay? So that overview page is gonna give business users the context of the page what is this for? Why do they have this? Like give them justification for that. Every report should have that. It should start with the why, right? Start with why, right? Why are you using this report, okay? Then we're gonna go down to uh, any navigation details. So if they're gonna be flipping between different buttons or bookmarks or, pa or pages, give them that information in here so it's very easy for them to understand. If there's none, then just put in NA. There's no navigation or it's just by tab, right? Just come up with some consistent like look and feel. But make sure users understand what's there. Like if you always have a drill through context, include you know information that yes, it's doing drill throughs or you know, just include that, okay? 
The next thing we want to make sure we do is we provide information on any key metrics and definitions. Now, this is, we want to keep all this information brief and very easy. Typically, I find that I can get like two definitions in here and then a space where we include a link to where, where we have more definitions inside of our report, okay? So we wanna make sure that these the, the key ones that are in here that are differentiating from other reports or just informative are right inside the report, but if there's anything specific or more details, you, you link that out, all right? Next big one here is our context and insights. Um, the reason I use a context and insights is to ensure people understand like not just what their report is for, but what types of insights insights that they should be gaining from this or what perspective should they be looking at this from. Uh, what you don't want is for people to look at your report, not understand what they're looking at. And, and let's be honest, like 80% of people can't look at data and know what innately know what to do with it, right? They're going to make mistakes. This is where you give them the narrative of how they should use it, what they should do with that data, those types of information. Again, uh, follow that same rule of thumb. Oh, I'm doing it. There we go. Uh, include a description, you know, that you have, and then, uh, oh my gosh, now I can't not do the arrow. <laughs> and then a link, uh, a link out to something where you have more details if necessary, okay? And then the last big area we'll cover is, I'm just gonna slide this over to the side so you can see it easier. It's information on your data sources. So are you pulling from CRM? Are you getting it from uh, Dynamics, Salesforce? Where is that information coming from? How often is it updated? And then where do people go for support? Now, this might be, hey, give me an email, let me know what's going on, or it might be uh, enter a, a ticket into our ticketing system, reference uh, the financial reporting team, let them know report number such and such uh, has an issue, right? Um, all of that information, I wanna make sure I'm consistently bringing that together and sharing with users. All right, these are just the basics of best practices of getting started with Power BI report design with, with backgrounds. Uh, I know there's like conflicting minds. Some people like to use the Power BI features and functionalities for, for that to work. I find that to be like really finicky and hard to do. Uh, hopefully that's getting better as we go. This is still to me the easiest path forward to get reliable, consistent results across a broad number of developers, clients, you name it, this is what works best. But if you did disagree with me, I love it. Leave a comment down below about how wrong I am about this. Uh, or if you like this and you're finding this very useful, let me know what other tips and tricks you have for people. Let's talk about how we can make report design easier and more consumable for people. You have the absolute best day ever. Peace. Oh, come on. All right, it's a lot, I get it. <clears throat> if you need help, head over to bakertilly.com slash digital, click on the, like, get some help, get some more information. Uh, myself or one of my coworkers will reach out to you. We'll get you in contact. We can get you up and running. We can we can help you out. Don't, don't you worry about that. But if you think you can do it, and I've got confidence that you can, uh, check out this video or this video here. <laughs> oh, become a member. They tell you that? <laughs>